So if people have um, a good instinct and start listening to their instincts again and use common sense, they have uh, a much larger chance to recover and stay healthy. And we just need to all come back to our common sense. We all need to come back to logic. We all need to come back to um, listening to our instinct. And uh, we will be all much better off when we um, use natural ways because uh, when, if nature creates a problem, nature has a solution. And uh, basically no uh, chemical or no treatment, radiation or chemotherapy or surgery uh, can cure a patient. That can, um, surgery, for example, can help in this case for a, a short amount of time to get the pressure off certain spots Right. or um, the prevent life-threatening growth. Uh, so most of all, um, helps the body to not uh, get into uh, problems with the arteries or with the nerves that can be pressed off, cut off by the tumor growth. So that is very important uh, that we have all options available. But people need to be really aware of the fact that uh, if they want to get healed, if they want to get cured, they have to understand that there is no healing force outside the human body. And, and let me ask you this. As we get into some of your involvement uh, with cancer and cancer cures and so many things we're going to talk about tonight, mm -hmm. give us probably your best definition of cancer because, you know, it's, it, it's probably everywhere. You know, you can get liver cancer. You know, cancer in your your lymph nodes. It's I mean, it's everywhere. What is cancer exactly? Okay, George. Cancer actually is not even an illness. Cancer is basically only a malfunction of the system. Every human being is born with cancer. We have cancer from the very first day we are born, which is nothing else than mutated, atrophied cells, half dead cells, cells that are getting renewed with new cells. And these uh, cells or free radicals are circulating in our system, and basically our immune system gets rid of it from the very first day. We are fighting cancer from the day we are born, from the second we are born. And this is the proof that nature or our immune system, our body, has the only answer to cancer by getting rid of these mutated and artified cells. There is only one form of cancer. There's only one cancer. Cancer has only been named by the organs where the cancer occurs or the way it's going to be diagnosed in the laboratory. Uh. So cancer is cancer, George, and this is what people really need to understand. There is no special cancer. There is no really rare cancer. There might be rare spots on the body where this cancer occurs. But cancer is cancer. It's always the same thing. When patients come to me and ask me, uh, I have this specific kind of cancer, what, I sh what should I do? And I tell them always the same thing. Do the only thing that I tell my cancer patients and told my cancer patients in, in my clinical work in my hospitals in Europe, what they should do for cancer in general. Cancer is cancer. And the the break the cancer can only develop or exist from a breakdown of energy george the uh, since our immune system is fighting successfully cancer from the very first day we are born the only way the only possibility the only reason that the body stops being able to get rid of these atrophied mutated half dead cells that accumulate in the system and start now, well, because they're accumulating, uh, getting toxic, it's, it's like garbage. If you put garbage in a garbage dump and collect it there, it, it, it creates gases, it, it rots away, and it creates toxic material. This is basically what cancer really is. It's an accumulation of mutated, artified, dead, half-dead cells that create toxic material in the system and also starts to uh, grow in itself. So there is a malinformation uh, in the cell and these half dead cells, these uh, sick cells, these not healthy cells start to, the mutated cells mm -hmm. start to multiply. 
And this is where the problem starts. But actually, cancer is the cure. Cancer is basically there to protect us from dying. Instead of letting... Now, the yeah, explain, explain that one. Uh, George, in, in, in uh, um, the cancer, in, instead of letting the cancer be in our entire system and destroying every organ at the same time, poisoning our system all over the place, the body is very smart. It collects cancer on one spot if possible. And then it basically forms a tumor, which means it capsules it off the entire system. So it puts it on one place and stashes it away. Almost like a cocoon, Absolutely right. right. Yeah. Absolutely right. That, that's, a, that's a good analogy, like a cocoon. And um, when you look at facts that breast cancer, for example, grows in a woman's breast for 7 to 10 years until they are even able to diagnose it. Oh, my. Then, then you understand so much easier how absurd it is to talk to this woman or use the fear and scare tactics of the medical profession to talk this woman into surgery, radiation, or uh, chemotherapy. And it's, of course, always the very next day. All of a sudden, this woman has no time anymore. All of a sudden, something that grew to a, a tiny, tiny size that they can finally diagnose in seven to ten years, they now scare this poor woman into believing if she doesn't get the medical treatment right away, she's going to die. Yeah. Yeah. And now, let, and let me ask you this, too. How often do normal cells die and re get replenished. I mean, what is the life of a cell, a normal cell? Basically, as, as the cell life is completely different in any part of the body. Like, for example, a liver cell. One to seven billion liver cells renew each second. Oh, my gosh. We have every four weeks new skin cells. We have every six weeks a brand new liver. Every eight months, brand new kidneys. Every eight months, brand new lungs. Every four weeks, brand new skin. The slime skin in the inside of the, of the mouse, for example, renews within 24 to 72 hours. So the entire body, there is no cell in the body except the teeth that is older than two years. So if you have cancer today, let's say you have liver cancer today, then you do not have to have liver cancer in six weeks anymore because your liver is not the same liver in six weeks that it is today. Now, do those cancer cells that the person had six weeks ago, they die, but then do other cancer cells grow back again really fast? There's two problems. First of all, the cancer cell in itself, because it, it doesn't really follow the, the normal cycle of cell renewal because they are genetically uh, damaged, the DNA is damaged, they can live longer and they multiply in themselves and keep on growing and keep the half-dead cells or the mutated cells alive. How do you go from being too acidic to more alkaline? First of all, acidosis, being, meaning being too acidic, is based on nutritional deficiency and toxemia. So the toxemia, the toxins need to get out of your system and I developed over 30 years a cleanse specifically for my cancer patients because I do not believe in individual cleansing because if you cleanse just the liver and not the other organs at the same time, all the toxins from the liver go into the kidneys or wherever and might mm -hmm. kill the person right away. So I developed a system called MyBePure.com uh, that, it, that that uh, detoxifies the system on the cellular level, the entire body uh, at the same time over a period of 21 days. Everything faster is highly dangerous. People, please be careful. Don't do these seven-day cleanses. Don't do these weird uh, seven-day colon cleanses. You do more harm to your system than you can ever imagine. It needs, it takes time. It needs to be systematic. It needs to be uh, really uh, going to the cellular level, and it needs to cleanse the entire system at the same time. So MyVPure.com is what I invented and what I uh, uh, did with all my cancer patients. On a, on, it was a little bit more complicated back then. Today it's very simple and easy because the technique is better to produce this product. The second step is 
to, to get uh, the uh, metal test and the metal toxification from helping AmericaNow.com, then you get rid of the two most dangerous elements. Nearly every human being has a candida overgrowth infection. So if you have uh, ever, if you ever took antibiotics, that's like a, that's, a, like, that's, that's a fungus, right? It's a fungus. It's a candida is is a fungus that lives in our our digestive tract. It helps us to to digest and and uh, helps us with a balance with with good and bad bacteria and so on. But uh, if it's overgrowth, if if you have ever taken an antibiotic, you have this yeast, this fungi overgrowth. And on the other hand, just let me say here, in regards of cancer, Dr. Simoncini has proven, the, the oncologist uh, from Rome, Italy, that we talked about before, that, that's using uh, baking soda to cure his yeah. cancer patients, he has proven that cancer is always embedded and surrounded and held together by a fungus. That's why it works what he does. He alkalizes the the... the, the the part and the fungus dies. The second, a fungus can only exist in an acidic environment. It's, it's like, like mold that, that can only exist in, in a specific environment. So this candida uh, uh, overgrowth is responsible for 90% of fibromyalgia, uh, of 90% of uh, having no energy, feeling tired after an eight-hour hour, uh, deep sleep, and this is what people really, really need to understand. If you don't sleep, you can only heal while you are asleep. There's absolutely no way to regenerate or heal if you are awake. You can only heal if you have a deep, restful sleep, if you're in a state of sleep, or uh, you're absolutely deeply relaxed. And this is what I created with my CDs. They give you an equivalent in 20 minutes of eight hours of deep, restful sleep. Is that why sometimes someone who, you know, doesn't feel good, they go to bed, but they wake up okay? Yes, sir. That's because the second you have a deep, restful sleep, you recharge your battery. It doesn't really matter how good the battery in your cell phone is. If you never recharge it, your cell phone will not work anymore. The same happens with us and our system. Our system can only get and stay sick as long as we do not have the energy to get healthy again and stay healthy again. So therefore, it is so important that people sleep well, sleep enough, sleep while it's dark, because the production of certain hormones is, is, can only happen while it's dark. A very, very, really great book. It's, it's called a daylight diet, so only eat while, while you have daylight and, and your digestive uh, uh, system is, is working so much easier and better and you don't gain weight and so on. That's, that's a side note. Yeah, eating right before you go to bed is the worst thing, isn't it's it? It's the worst thing you can do because the entire night the body is digesting, using up all the energy for digestion and not for repair and regeneration. And this is where uh, so many people, we know this all from, from a, a good Thanksgiving dinner or, or Christmas dinner or, or New Year's dinner, and, and we eat too much and we drink too much and even we slept, but in the morning we wake up, we're still tired and groggy because our system was busy digesting instead of repairing and regenerating us. 